Hey guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thank you very much for joining me today. As you can see, I've got a review here of the uh, Castle Arts Pastel Tint Pencils. Now, it's very important you understand these are not pastel pencils. They are just ordinary coloured pencils, but they are pastel tones. Um, now, Castle have really upped their game. Castle have uh, come out with a lot of additional products uh, if you cast your mind back not that long ago, I did a review of their, their gold coloured pencils. Excellent, excellent set of pencils. Um, they've also come out with a, a metallic range as well, another 48 set of metallic. They've got these and they've got a few other products that are that they're coming out with. Uh, some haven't quite got out just yet, but they're they are on their way. Um, but Castle very much have their finger on on the pulse and they are very much uh, trying their best to keep up with um, customer demand and they are also listening to their customers it, with regards to uh, certain little things that customers are looking for within their products and even down right down to packaging uh, which I'll get into in a second so I've been doing reviews now for about five or six years I looked on my channel last night and I realized that I that I've uploaded uh, 373 videos which is amazing I, I didn't realize I'd put up that many videos but one of the things that I um, discovered over the years especially with alcohol markers and colored pencils was that uh, a lot of these sets with the exception of Copic were lacking like these really soft pastel tones uh, sometimes pastel tones that are almost invisible on white paper but nevertheless very necessary whenever you come down to uh, you know building up gradients that type of thing and obviously with the Copic range they've got a lot of colors in their range I think it's 358 and a lot of those colors are very 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 pale pastel tones that like I say on their own don't look like much but when you incorporate them in the other colors they're very necessary same with colors and I was saying that a lot in my reviews whenever other uh, companies were coming out with like brush tip alcohol markers one of my biggest criticisms or not criticisms but one of the biggest things that I noticed about these sets was that they didn't have these soft pastel tones that uh, illustrators need and so lo and behold in the last year, two years, a lot of alcohol marker companies are, are now um, coming out with their own pastel sets, pastel tone sets, which is excellent because then it really, really does uh, put those those markers against Copic in terms of their, their ability. They're right up there. But now that they've got this, this excellent color range, it really does pit them against Copic. Well, the same is about colored pencils as well. Um... And now, again, there's a lot of companies coming out with their own pastel tones. The thing is, most of them are 12 or 24 set pastel tones, which which is great. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but Castle have gone that little step further and they've come out with 48. Now, it could be, when you when you see the swatches in a second, you, it could be said that maybe some of the some of the colours are not what you, what you would traditionally classify as pastel. Uh, but that's a personal thing. It's something that, that you would have to get down to. But I've done a lot of swatches here and I'm going to show you um, these colours on a lot of different coloured papers just to give you a heads up and show you what these pencils look like. So like I say here, there's a 48 set. Nice uh, um, illustration on the tin here. Clearly illustrating that you know it's it's soft pastel tones in here. What I will say is... When I do my reviews of pastel sets, I review these sets as individual sets, okay? So I keep them, um, I, ju I just review them as they are. But it's, it's very important to understand these pastel sets, in my opinion, are, are made to accompany your ordinary coloured pencil ranges. So with this set here, they are made... And you're going to get the best out of them whenever you 
line them up with, say, like the castle colored pencils or the castle gold colored pencils. So one of the things I noticed when you first open up the set, and this is, you know, I said this in, with the, the castle gold. Castle have the very best packaging and uh, literature when it comes to their products and I'll explain that in a second. This little thing here is just beautiful. It's it's not very, you know, it's it's a small touch. But they've got the castle logo here. You can use this paper for when you're doing your artwork, you know, putting your hand on it and then just put it back into the tin, but it's I th I thought it was a really classy touch. Now, here's where Castle have really upped their game. Um, where I think that they are better than all of the other manufacturers, including the big ones, when it comes to um, giving, you know, selling their products. In these booklets here, if you are like a first-time um, coloured pencil artist and you pick up a set of Castle pencils, these little booklets that they incorporate in the sets tell you everything that you need to know to get started how to hold your pencil, um, you know, the, the different type of effects you get from holding it on a different way, different angles, that type of thing. Uh, different papers, canvas, cartridge paper, watercolour paper, wood, uh, eggshells, all these different surfaces that you can uh, scratch board. With the pastel tent range here as well, you know, it shows you the different colours that they have in here. And... Um, where they line up with the uh, color theory. Uh, the meanings of color here as well just shows you here, you know, red is uh, danger, energy, power, love, anger, hate, things like this. All things that you may not think are really necessary, but I, th I think, uh, especially for people new to color pencil, the, the, these, these little booklets that Castle are putting in are invaluable. Uh, showing you here how to do, like, create a like an orange like a sphere uh the importance of light and shadow again coming down here to different hatching uh different uh techniques uh circular strokes stippling scumbling uh all sorts of other things hatching cross hatching uh then they've got this little chart here about, you know, layering different colours. You can just go down the colour there and see what it looks like uh, with another colour layered on top of it. They explain here uh, burnishing, what burnishing is. Burnishing is, is uh, colouring with a very heavy pressure that grinds the colour into the paper so that the paper doesn't show through. So, like, you, we all know that, you know, when you're doing light layers, you've still got that whiteness of the paper showing through and when you're coming up to your final layer you would do uh, burnishing but for like I say for people new to color pencil excellent um, and again more about uh, texture and techniques um, little tutorials here to get you started Uh, tutorial here of the artwork on the front of the tin if you wanted to do it. Really, really invaluable um, booklets that they have inside these sets here. And again, they they provide you with a little swatch, which I never fill those in just in case uh, I give them away or something like that. Um, this is just showing you all the different products they have like a catalog and then all the different colors that they have available uh, and again this is just more about the, the the pastel tint pencils on their own uh, and a little bit about the uh, the colors used in this particular tutorial that they have which is obviously the the front of the tin so with regards to that, the ex excellent um, way that they package. So, with the inside the tin on the lid, they also have like a uh, like a, a color chart with the the color names, color numbers, and a little square beside it, which is beneficial. Um, 
Also as well here, now with these little plastic trays, a lot of people hated those little indentations where you would put your fingers in and pull it out. But Castle have listened to their customers and they've put these little uh, elastic bands in to help you lift them out. Now you can see here uh, the images coming up on the screen. This is the first layer of pencils that you'll see when you open the set. So you can see there the, the, the colours laid out as you'll get them in the tin. Uh, and then the next layer here, again, you can see there all the different colours that are available. But don't worry, I'm going to show you these colours on paper in a second. So as you can see here, the core of the uh, pastel tint pencils is a roughly, roughly about 3.2 millimetres, which is a good, a good uh, chunky core uh, and the 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 barrel which is a round barrel is a roughly about 7.6 i use this little tool to uh, get my own measurements from the pencils rather than just look at what the the company is saying um it because this little tool is very very accurate so like i say 7.6 millimeters for the um the the barrel now the every barrel is colored uh the same color as the core and they are very close uh, along one side of the the barrel here we have the the castle arts logo uh and then after that we have this silver band and then we have like a an inch an inch and a half here inch and a quarter bit on the very end of the pencil which this silver band separates and it just says pastel tint which is obviously the pencils now on the opposite side of that we have um the the pigment name and then obviously the the silver band and then on the very end here we have a number which corresponds to the pigment as well so all the information that you need to know here is on the 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 actual barrel of the pencils now i did artwork with the pencils and it was very it, it was very very um simple artwork it was just a set of balloons and the reason why i did this like i said to you pastel pencils are, are made really to uh complement another set of pencils it's really difficult to use pastel tones on their own but what I did was, uh, I just got these balloons, used these pastel colours just to show you kind of like how they layer, how they blend, that type of thing. And the paper that I used for this was Bristol Vellum, so it's a little bit of texture. The layering and the blending was absolutely fine. And also I used uh, odourless mineral spirits as well, which I don't normally use, but when I used it for these... Uh, for these balloons it it did really help to merge and blend all those layers together so that it turned out okay in terms of the artwork but like i said the artwork is very simple but it's mainly just to show you uh what these pastel tones look like and how they layer and how they blend so at first i used um i thought i was going to do the artwork on some um tone tan paper so i done a swatch and as you can see here there's obviously some colors that just do not show up on the tone tan and that's just because they're so light and they're so similar to that tanny color uh you can see here the uh candy tuft just doesn't show up on the tone tan the peach cream is very subtle the magnolia again very subtle on the tone tan but some of the other colors uh, came out really really nice on the tone tan now if you want these um swatches will be over on the art gear guide on the written and all you got to do is click on the link down below to the the written review you'll be able to go across there click on whatever swatch you see uh and it will enlarge automatically and then you can look at it better so once I've done the swatch on the Tone Tan, which was Strathmore Tone Tan, by the way, I then went and done uh, a swatch on white paper, thinking that the white paper wouldn't show up the colours that well. But I was wrong. The 
all of the colors showed up really well even the really pale ones on the white paper and for this paper i used the the clairefontaine paint on mixed media paper so i'm you i've used a lot of different papers here to show you what, how these pencils react on different papers um at that point, I thought, right, okay, that's enough. I don't really need to do any more to show you. But then I thought, you know what, I've, I've done these two. I might as well do some more. So then I went to the Strathmore Grey and um, added the colours there as well. And actually, they, t they, they came up much better, in my opinion, on the grey paper than they did on the Tone Tan paper. Um, some of the colours are more opaque than others. Uh, some of them are quite translucent. But that's just the nature of coloured pencils. And then just to make things even more comprehensive for you, I did it on black paper so that you can see how the, the colours look like on black paper as well. So, like I say, all of these will be over on the Art Gear Guide uh, where you can go across, take a little look uh, and uh, see for yourself which paper you think is best with these pastel tones but i haven't done like where normally i with colored pencils when i'm doing the review i'll have like um, a section where i do the, the blend and show you the blending and the layering and stuff like that the reason why i didn't do that with these pencils was because with the layering i've got the artwork and like i said they layer very very well on i would i would use these pencils best same with the um the gold pencils with like something like a mixed media paper or a um a, a bristol vellum something with a little bit of tooth but still nice and smooth smooth enough where you're going to get really nice uh finished burnishes uh and things like that on your artwork Obviously, if you wanted to do something like landscape or what have you, and you wanted to add a little bit of texture to it and you went to some watercolour, they're going to perform even better on that because there's a lot more tooth on that. With Bristol Smooth, I found that I didn't get as many layers. I got uh, a couple of, like, I got up to about five layers and then it started getting that tacky, sticky feel to it. But all in all, uh, they performed really, really well, like I say, on the Bristol Vellum. Um, I really liked the castle arts and none of the colours that are in this set are duplicated okay so the colours that are in this pastel set do not feature in like the, the 120 gold set uh, that castle have out so if you've got the 120 uh, set of castle gold coloured pencils and you buy this then you're going to have uh, 168 uh, individual colors now like i say if you've got these and you've got the gold colored pencils i might i might do a video where i just do some artwork and incorporate them both together um but past as i've said before pastel sets are best when they are accompanying another set um you're too limited when you do uh them on their own which as i was saying which is the reason why i didn't do like the 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 blending test that i normally do because when i'm normally doing the blending test i'll do like you know a, a red and a yellow to get an orange and i'll do uh, a yellow and a blue to get a green that type of thing well i couldn't really do that with these pastel tones because the, the, those colors weren't really there uh so that's why i just did the artwork and i did the swatches on the different papers but all in all beautiful set of pencils castle have done it again they've done a really really great job with their gold range and now with these uh and like i say i will do a review of their um their metallic pencils metallic pencils are not my thing but nevertheless it's still important that i do a review of them and get them out there so that you can see and as i did with the pastel uh tint pencils i will show you the um the metallic pencils on various different paper colors and um also textures i think i've covered everything if there's anything i've missed guys please just ask me down below in in the uh comments section and i will certainly get back to you and try and answer 
uh, any questions you have. And any questions you have that I can't answer, I will go to Castle directly and uh, they will be able to help me out and uh, help me answer those questions. But um, if you, like I say, the swatches will be over on the written review where you can just click on them and um, enlarge them and inspect them at your own leisure. Uh, the artwork as well, I'll have a page over on the uh, art gear guide where you can go across, click on the artwork and, and have a look at that also. Uh, as well as the speed drawing I've done of the artwork as well. Now the speed drawing is like, you know, like I say, the artwork is very, very simple, but it's just to show you how the, the pastel tones blend and layer. Um, but I still think it's important to put that uh, speed drawing up just to give you an indication of how everything comes together so that's it guys thank you so much for joining me i look forward to seeing you again in the next review and uh thank you all so very much for your support and all your wonderful comments i can't tell you how much i appreciate it thank you very much guys bye